I'd like to talk a little bit today about scandal and the media and the idea of, of the echoes of scandal and how no scandal can really w exist unless it has echoes of other scandals. So what I'd like to talk today a little bit about, for example, is Anna Nicole Smith and the idea of the scandalous um, nature of the way that she died, her, her sad, pathetic life until that, but then also just the scandal in terms of, of who was the father and you know, just scandal upon scandal. Now what makes them actually scandalous? Of course you could say, well, it has a lot to do with norms and, and our societal norms and it's a way to reinforce a normative type of text or discourse within society and that definitely is, is, is good and that's a good starting point. But let's think about the way that, that media scandal really works. Every scandal, an effective scandal, a presentation of scandal, contains echoes of previous scandals within it so that, that the, the really titillating scandals are enormously titillating because they contain within them resonances and echoes of previous scandals. So whenever, for example, there's a mysterious political death, wow, the, the conspiracy theorists run amok and they, you know, they trot out all the, the questionable things that the grassy knoll, JFK, you know, on and on and on, all these un, unsolved mysteries. And the other scandalous type of thing is, say, celebrity scandals, if it has to do with, um, with say, um, the very public collapses, like in the case of Britney Spears, then, and then what makes it uh, the, the most compelling is when it, it has a sort of authenticity due to echoes of the other types of, of discourses or histories of scandals in the past. So um, the, the mere presence is a composite, and nothing, a scandal never sits on its own stands on its own, it's always a composite. So I thought you might enjoy that perspective. Thanks.